set goals for myself and have things that I wanted to accomplish. But, oh, by the way, I'm cleaning out stuff in my bathroom right now. Just just watch through it. It's fine. Um, and this is probably also going to be a podcast episode, so say hey to the podcast. But yeah, last year I made the mistake of not taking the time to list out what I want with my life. And I think that it's very important that I do that now because I feel like I'm just all over everywhere. I've been pulled in so many different directions this year and now I just feel like I need some kind of stability. I don't know what I'm doing with the camera here. Oh, showing you guys the stuff. Yeah, okay. I'd also like to mention that towards the end of this video, I show you all a few things that I put on my vision board, but I will be talking about pretty much everything that I did to figure out what I wanted for this year and to distinguish what was my dream or goal and what was something that someone else told me I should pursue. If that makes any sense. I'm not gonna lie, it took me a few days worth of me watching YouTube videos, sitting in solitude, trying to figure out what it is that I actually want to include in this year and what I want to bring with me that I kind of learned from last year. It was a long and hard process, but I ended up coming up with this beautifully written thing may i just say my handwriting is absolutely immaculate but um i basically was able to write out everything that kind of happened that was significant last year that i want to bring with me things that i don't want to bring with me as well as all of my goals in different sections and areas so i'll be reading off a few of them for you all So to start off, I want to talk about things that I've learned in 2020 and my goals that I met in 2020. Um, one of my biggest accomplishments was graduating high school and college at the same time. And I did technically do that. Um, wow, look at that deodorant. That's really gross. I need to throw that away. I think I did. Yep. Um, yeah, graduating high school and college at the same time, even though it wasn't the college program that I was hoping to graduate from, it still was a college program. So I'm proud of myself for that. Also, lessons that I learned that there are no shortcuts in life. You literally can't shortcut anything. You can't shortcut making money. You can't shortcut making friends. You can't shortcut being a good friend. You can't shortcut being a good girlfriend, being a good daughter. You can't shortcut anything in life. Everything takes as much time as it needs to get done. So I've learned to be a lot more patient with myself and with the world and time and the way that things work and be more understanding of that. Um, also, treating people like people instead of screens. I Experiencing firsthand the fact that people treat people like they're working technology devices instead of people, especially nowadays. This goes hand in hand with my next lesson learned, which is thinking of others' struggles before my own. Um, I am the type of person who sometimes takes a lot of self-pity instead of putting other people before me and thinking of other people's struggles. Um, which makes me selfish and I hate it and I want to get rid of it. Goodbye. Taking everything with a grain of salt is also something that I've learned. Goals met. I hit 15,000 followers, which was a big goal for me coming into 2020. And sorry, the clips changed. I'm now cleaning out my closet and doing laundry. Yeah, okay. But uh, yeah, that happened. I started college i'm painting more i have built stronger relationships i skipped my depressional season usually i go through a seasonal depression between um let's say like april to july that part of the year is just that's my seasonal depression you know how most people get it like in the winter time yeah no i'm backwards 
But yeah, skip that in 2020. Very happy about that. Um, more professional work experience was in 2020, which is great. I actually started and consistently upload on my YouTube channel now, which is something that I have been dreaming of doing since I was like 11 years old. And that's what everybody says on YouTube. But yeah, I invested in myself a lot more, including buying this lovely device that I am recording on currently and editing on my iPad Air. And I learned photography, which I've been wanting to do for a very long time. Very glad that I decided to do that this year. Now on to what y'all have been waiting for this year's to-do list. I gave myself around a top seven on my to-do list. So I would like to buy and enjoy my own home. Now, whether that means I rent a property or a buy a condo I don't know but something's gonna shake this year and I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna have my own house by the end of the year and I'm gonna be moved in with my Christmas decorations up ready to enjoy the holiday season I hope to build a successful design business um due to the fact that I would like to invest in buying my own place to live I kind of need like a good backup income for that outside of just like whatever I get from my internships or whatever so I'm hoping to start some kind of design or illustration little side hustle or something like that I don't know or maybe sell art I don't know I'm really scared to sell art though so someone please talk me into it because I'm scared and I don't want to expose myself to negative criticism because my art is very very special to me um I'd like to graduate from my community college and transfer to a bigger college that is in my state I'd also like to tra travel out of state and I know this probably sounds really bad like oh my gosh you're gonna travel during pandemic times no don't do that ah uh, yeah but I was thinking that maybe I could do like a road trip type of thing I don't know I don't know why I just shook that shirt in front of y'all I decided to get rid of that shirt okay yeah anyways I'm thinking of doing a road trip don't know where somewhere eventually yeah switch clips um here I am printing out things for my vision board so you're not confused just for context gonna keep talking now I actually want to embrace adulthood as well I feel like I have been dreading adulthood since I was nine years old oh look at that that's beautiful and <clears throat> I think it's high time I put on my big girl pants and I say Dang it, I'm an adult now. I can't go back to my childhood no matter how badly I want to. I want to go back kicking and screaming, but I cannot. So I have to enjoy the best parts of it. Um, and I can live vicariously through my siblings and through their shenanigans and join them in on some childhood fun sometimes. But I'd like to also find the fun parts of being a new adult now, I guess. This year's undo list is anything to do with grieving because I tend to do that a lot. I grieve change. I grieve the loss of my childhood. I grieve everything and I want to stop. Uh, also on the undo list, mundanity. I feel like I fall into these trances sometimes where I just keep doing the same thing over and over and I need to move on from that. I, I need to have fun, put some spice in my life. Holding on to things, definitely holding on to my past. Unhealthy work habits, aka the workaholic thing that is really sick and like bad for me, which leads to burnout. Unhealthy social habits, so me isolating myself because I don't like committing to talking to people. Burnout is also on this list. Negativity about my adulthood, which kind of goes hand in hand with the embracing adulthood part of things. 
so yeah um for i i want to talk about career things because those are in a separate category um i'd like to grow a community on youtube so if you're watching this if you're listening to my podcast and you're not watching this on youtube then head on over to youtube and vice versa if you're on the podcast oh i also got this little girl this year yeah didn't really put that on on my paper but i got her this year and i'm so happy to have her and to be her mother even though she likes to run away from me but we'll talk about that in another video um i like to post content consistently which i feel like i'm doing pretty well and if i don't i'm not going to be too hard on myself because i am lovely and an amazing person and i shouldn't hate myself for not posting content on social media but i do enjoy it and i'd also like to build a successful design business that's all under career so yeah i think i'm gonna stop the word of the year for 2021 is love and i'm choosing love because i feel like i feel like i've done a good job in 2020 of expressing love and expressing my appreciation for people a little bit more but i think i need to understand the feeling of love a little bit more i need to understand what it feels like to get love from my family i need to understand what it feels like to get love from my boyfriend from my mom from my friends and from myself I feel like I don't have a clear understanding of love yet, so I'd like to explore that. I'd like to feel it, like really take time to just bathe in it, because I am so loved, and you are so loved, and also God's love. I left God out, I don't know how I did, but yeah, God's love. So yeah, if you're not religious, then your own love for yourself so yeah word of the year is love that is what i'm building my year off of and that's what i'm hoping to practice this year sharing spreading and feeling love with that being said peace love love, love. there was so much more that happened to you all later bye